Hello and welcome to my second video that we're going to be making on the Bannerlord Beta. Everything that you see here may transfer over to the main game when it releases in 10 days, but I'm not too sure, so take that into account. But today we're just going to be going over some of the basic F commands and again what they're used for and how to use them most effectively. As you can see on screen, I'm making my guys form shield wall, which is essentially what you want to do every single time when facing archers. If you don't have a shield wall up, you guys will not put the shield up in front of them and will just take volley after volley to the face. The way to do this would be to press the F3 key followed by the F2 key, which will make you guys assume the shield wall formation. Now after you've done that, if you keep hold of the F1 key, you can then set a flag which will make your troops form up on the given position. The next thing you want to do is press the F2 key and then either give them the order to face the enemy which is the best thing to do on 90% of the situations or you can tell them a specific direction to always face. Uh, that's pretty useful to do in the situation that you're seeing on screen here where we are being attacked from behind by cavalry but from the opposite end we are being accosted by archers. You want you guys to always be facing the shields towards the archers. So giving them the command, the F2 command, um, to face the enemies is always preferable. Shield walls are also very useful in situations where the enemy are charging it, as you'll see here. We don't really have much backup, so we are going to get overwhelmed here. Then a situation where you can prevent the enemy from getting around to your rear, the shield wall. Uh, can be especially effective in defending a position and even winning against some overly aggressive units. Telling your units to assume the normal line formation by using the F3 followed by the F1 command will make your units behave much more normally and in comparison much more aggressively than the shield wall formation. You just have to adapt based on what the situation needs. So in this example we're going to be charging forward to back up the cavalry who has been harassing the enemy troops. We're going to be forming my guys up in a shield wall on a nice little tight bridge which will prevent anyone from getting around to the rear. So here I'm going to be utilizing the hold on to the F1 command and keep hold of left click and drag it out which will create a formation of your choosing. Doing this however seems to make your troops face a certain direction permanently which you can overwrite by pressing the F2 command and making them face the enemy automatically rather than facing manual direction. Keeping my guys in shield wall formation and here is a big issue with the shield wall formation. If people get behind the formation, your men do not do anything in their power to stop it. They will just take it like a champ to the back, which is something that you have to be wary of. But against a frontal assault, the shield wall is extremely useful. The next key is the F4 command, which will tell your troops to hold fire. Here we've got a bunch of berserkers armed with throwing axes. And in the situation that I'm going to go up against people with heavy shields, the throwing axes are quite useless. So you need to make sure that you're saving your axes and saving your range weapons for people that don't have shields up or have very little protection. Luckily for us, the enemy is going to be going with um, 200 weapons, some peasants and some vulgiers, vulgiers, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but they're all 200 weapon users and 100 weapon users with no shield, so our throwing axes are just going to do some nice damage to them before we engage. Another thing that I'm going to mention here that is different from Warband that took me a bit of a while to get used to and I'm still getting used to it is the friendly fire system. As you can see I'm just wailing on my own troops heads a lot. Now melee friendly fire has been implemented. That was not a thing in Warband I don't think. It was just range. But now you can friendly fire even with your melee. So you're just going to have to take a little more care with your wild overhand swings and things. Otherwise, you're going to be slamming your axe into the back of your own troops' helmets. Now, the reason I haven't really shown many of the other formations, or any of them, 
for that matter, is because simply positioning your troops into a space where they can't get shot at, like I'm doing here, is a way better method than simply putting your men without shields into loose formation. As loose formation only mitigates the amount of casualties you're taking rather than eliminating it entirely, as this shield wall is demonstrating here for me. My guys hidden behind here are just taking pretty much no casualties. I'm going to be making them form a nice tight little formation, keeping hold of the F1 key and left clicking and dragging, as I've said previously. But many of the other formations are pretty useless in my opinion, and you will only ever see the two other formations used very situationally. Now these two formations are the circle formation and square formation. The circle formation can be used very effectively in defending flags, Especially if you have spearmen and you're up against cavalry, it will prevent them from being able to hit your guys from the rear. But against archers, it's really not as good as you might think. Leaving the rears of half of your troops open to getting shot at by the archers no matter what angle. It just provides the enemy archers with a bigger target to aim at. And any competent commander will be able to take full advantage of this. So it's not really recommended to use circle formation unless you really need to. The loose formation here I'm showing that it can be useful to you know spread your guys out but again they all have the shields up they're still presenting a big target to the enemy. So the actual ability to make your troops form a shield wall is preferential. Square formation very similar to the circle formation uh, except now it's in a square. It will provide less of a target for enemy archers so assuming it when defending an objective is preferable than the circle in my opinion but the circle definitely does hold a purpose in defending against cavalry especially if you do have spearmen the square I'd say much more useful against enemy archers and all of these formations again are accessible by just pressing the F3 key and that's pretty much the basics that you need to know in commanding your troops on captain mode. There isn't too much to it, but the finesse comes in managing your troops effectively, quickly, the ability to know where your F keys are located and quickly change them into different formations and adapt. How your teammates command their troops however, that is a different story. And the ability to work as a cohesive army rather than just a unit of troops, is what will make or break a game. And with all this said and done, I hope you guys stay safe. We've got 10 more days until Bannerlord comes out. Try not to die of the dreaded COVID, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.